This is Shelton We're, Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Inside as I'm Dan Marotti. In this installment, let's take a look at the Wednesday, June the 17th, 2015 edition of TNA Impact on Destination America from Orlando, Florida. Before we get going, fans, we'd love for you to take advantage of some of the great offers we have here at Boston Wrestling as well as from our partners that we team up with so we can continue to bring you more and more great free professional wrestling content. Don't forget that the WWE Network is going to be available to new subscribers absolutely free for the month of June. That includes WWE Money in the Bank this Sunday night, June the 14th, as well as recent big events such as Elimination Chamber, Payback, NXT TakeOver Unstoppable, and thousands of hours more in the WWE archives. It's unbelievable. It's the best value in pro wrestling media. Click on the link below on our YouTube page and start enjoying the WWE Network now for the month of June. Also, don't forget that you can help Boston Wrestling by using our special links for both Amazon.com and WWEShop.com. No matter what you buy, even non-wrestling merchandise on Amazon, we get a small percentage of your purchase, and it doesn't increase your cost one single cent. We bring you tons of free content each week and need some help to keep the train rolling. Don't feel like shopping? We have a PayPal account, folks. You can send a donation of any denomination, a dollar, two dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever you like using the email address bw at bostonwrestling.com. We'd love to send you a shout-out for helping grow our library for fans around the world to enjoy. We'd also be very happy if you joined us by subscribing for free to our YouTube channel. We're starting to close in on 800 free videos for your viewing pleasure. If you enjoy what you see, please share it with friends, and most importantly, click the like button on each video that you watch so YouTube will showcase our giant library to more and more of your professional wrestling fans. This week's Impact opened up with a really nice brief tribute to the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. He both wrestled and booked for TNA over the years. Mike Tanay hosted a contract signing between Kurt Angle and Ethan Carter III for their July 1st TNA Impact Championship matchup. Note that that will not take place at the Bound for Glory pay-per-view. It's a head-scratcher, but in this time, TNA needs the ratings. It would have made a little bit more sense maybe to do it on the live TNA show next week, but... As you'll see, there was a reason behind that. Carter took the microphone from Mike Tanay. He ran down a giant list of nicknames of stars and legends the current Angle defeated over the years in both WWE and TNA. They did a gimmick where both current Angle and Ethan Carter could pick the other's opponents in a warm-up match. This week, current Angle selected Bobby Lashley to compete against Ethan Carter in the main event. And then on next week's live impact, Carter will pick Kurt Angle's opponent to warm up for their July 1st championship encounter. I would have loved to have seen this mapped out differently. So they had it for the live show and the ensuing TV tapings after that, along with the Bond for Glory pay-per-view. But that is just one man's opinion. The Wolves cut a promo about their best of five series with the Dirty Heels. Called them out to wrestle this week. What a great series it's been so far, fans. Bobby Roode came out and said that Austin Aries wasn't cleared to wrestle after he had a match of the year candidate with Kurt Angle on Impact last week. Eddie Edwards said that Bobby Roode looked good, and he challenged him to a singles match against either one of the Wolves. Roode first declined, but then he said he would agree to it if whoever won the match could pick the stipulation for match four in the series. Eddie Edwards agreed to it. This was a strange match in that it was almost roles reversed. You had Eddie Edwards having Davey Richards at ringside with no one in Bobby Roode's corner. You have the baby faces with the two match to one advantage, over the heels. It almost seems like everything should be in reverse here. I've said before that I think the ship has sailed on Bobby Roode as a headliner. You can push to the fans as a money player, but he's excellent in the ring, and I think he's absolutely fantastic in this tag team role here. It was a great matchup. Towards the end, Bobby Roode spit in Davey Richards' face. Richards obviously climbed up to the apron while the referee was trying to get him down. Austin Aries, who supposedly wasn't even in the building, ran out with a chair. Roode swung and missed. Then Davey Richards grabbed it. Eddie Edwards rolled up Rude for the pin. Eddie Edwards decided that it was going to be a full Metal Mayhem match for the fourth match of the series, which will take place live on Impact Wednesday night, 
June the 24th. That's going to be a hell of a matchup, folks. I'm looking forward to it. Joseph Park returned. He said he'd lost it all since we had last seen him. Looks like the gimmick here is going to be Bram is going to continue to challenge former TNA stars each and every week. I don't know why, what purpose that serves. Last week he defeated Crimson. I thought it was going to be an angle more directed towards the X Division since he said he hated the X Division, but whatever. The match was fine for what it was. It was light fun. It wasn't presented as anything too seriously. They brought in a kendo stick and a table. Bram put Park through that. Bram went over clean. I guess if it helps elevate Bram, I'm all for it, as it's kind of a thin roster in TNA as well. Then we had the Knockouts Tag Team action. Awesome Kong and Brooke defeated the Dollhouse in the matchup, where if Kong and Brooke won, they both earned Knockouts title matches, and that's what they'll get with this win. I felt bad for Awesome Kong in this one, as it was awful when the other three were in the ring. The Dollhouse is one of the worst gimmicks ever. I don't know why Taryn Terrell is being wasted in this garbage. I don't know why they're trying to present the X Division in this way. It makes absolutely no sense to me to take someone that has been over as an athletic baby face, a beautiful blonde-haired woman, and try and present her talking as a four-year-old girl. It, it makes no sense to me. And I'll end it at that. Christy Hemme interviewed Chris Melendez about his war with Eric Young. Eric Young tearing off his... Melendez called out Young, who listed everything Melendez had done in life, and said he didn't care. The way this angle has been presented, I don't think many fans care about it either, but they're going to square off in a big-time grudge match on the June 24th Live Impact. Jesse Goddard, who was playing the role of Chris Masters, it seemed, in this one, defeated DJ Z via submission. Zemer Ion started off quick against his former bromance running buddy, but it looks like Goddard is getting a pretty strong heel push out of this. After the match, God has cut a big-time promo while holding down Zima. He was going to pick him up and toss him over the top rope like a piece of trash, but Robbie E. ran in through the crowd for some reason. I don't like this, fans. I don't think anyone's going to cheer Robbie E. as a babyface, but let's see how it continues to be presented each and every Wednesday night. He had another replay of the James Storm, Mickey James train incident. Magnus came to the ring without any theme music. He said he was going to crack heads until that rat-faced bastard James Storm come out. First, we had some security guards come out to try and hold him back when there was no one even out there. That kind of defied logic, but Storm eventually made his way to the entrance. He had a baby carriage with Magnus's son in it, and I just sat there watching this saying, why can't this just end? Nobody cares. No one believes in it. No one's invested in it. No one wants to see it. One man's opinion. Magnus eventually fought through the security guards that came out for no reason. Then Storm pushed the baby carriage off of the stage, a la Cactus Jack and Chainsaw's Charlie back in February of 1998 on Monday Night Raw. Magnus went diving for this little baby. Luckily, it was only a doll. Ethan Carter defeated Bobby Lashley in the main event. Match was fine. I thought the finish was kind of lousy. Bobby Lashley, he got castrated as a baby face. They had the chair set up in between the top and the middle rope, and he went to spear it head first when Ethan Carter moved. All kinds of ref bumps in this one. Didn't like it. Not when you have two good athletes in the ring. Might have been easier at this point to have Lashley avoid doing a clean job as they groom, hopefully, Carter for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. He's the right guy at the right time right now for a company that desperately needs something fresh. And people can knock TNA however they want. No one can deny that they've done a great job in building up Ethan Carter the third, So it's going to be interesting to see who Carter chooses for Angle to face next week on the Live Impact. Wouldn't it be interesting if Carter chose Bobby Lashley with some of the great wars that Angle and Bobby Lashley have had on Impact in 2015? I have to say, this was one of the better Impacts in a long time. I'm glad as the past two weeks were terrible ever since they moved to the Wednesday time slot. This one featured minimal nonsense with some really solid matches, all building towards a big live episode of Impact, Wednesday, June the 24th. I like this much better than Ring of Honor tonight. And when the show is at its best, I thought it was better than NXT tonight. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Feel free to leave them in the content section below. Till we speak again, fans, continue to check out all the great videos we have on our YouTube channel. We're pushing in on 800 free ones for you. You and yours, be well.